Hello everyone, Rabbi Rosen here, hoping all is well with you and wishing you a happy beginning to spring. One of the themes of these Shabbat talks has been over the last couple of years the idea of looking for some kind of uniting or middle ground between two extremes. We live in such polarized times where there is such antagonism between people and ideas that it can be hard sometimes to find something in the center that truly makes sense. But here is an example this week, this Shabbat, where I think that kind of dynamic really does take place. The Torah reading is all about sacrifices with great detail, all different kinds of sacrifices for different circumstances. But at the same time, we read a Haftarah from the book of Jeremiah that seems to say sacrifices are worthless. That is not what God desires. God wants something more sincere, something more immaterial. So which way is it? In the course of history, there are those who have lined up on either side of the equation. Worship, once with sacrifice, now with prayer, is what truly defines a Jew. Others have said, no, being engaged in the world, in the marketplace, in social justice kinds of activities, this is what defines us as Jews. In point of fact, it's both of them. Taken as a whole, we realize that one fuels the other. We are told that the inspiration for that which matters in life can be truly found embedded in our prayers, in our Torah, and in those things that we often consign to ritual, to build a better world, to live a life of repair, of constantly looking for the dignity of the other in each and every one of our transactions. The world of the marketplace place and social justice suggests that what we have to do is conquer our own natural inclination to stand still, to allow the force of gravity to make us just simply sit and imagine that thoughts alone will make something happen. And so I hope that for those of us who are more naturally inclined to see our Jewishness expressed in ritual matters, we'll realize that our interactions on a day-to-day -day basis with those with whom we have contact and our society at large are also arenas for religious life. I also hope that those who see the experience of day-to-day -day interactions with life as places for Jewish ethical expression, and hence a true religious expression, might find themselves comfortable visiting a worship experience, picking up a Jewish text of spiritual significance, and come to realize the depths of ideas and of inspiration that lie at the root of all of our activities and draw nurturance from that. So once again, it's not either or, it's both and. Shabbat Shalom, wishing everyone the very best.